Welcome to If I Could Live Anywhere, The Move Tube Show. Kevin Bilberry and myself, Frank Gray, are here to host a wonderful edition, the inaugural edition, the first edition, pilot. if you will, the pilot of If I Could Live Anywhere. So let's go ahead and dive in, Kevin. What are we going to talk about today, man? We're going to talk about Festus, Missouri. Really? Yeah. So, so is that for real? Is that a real name of a city? Festus? I think so. Festus, so, Missouri. You know, so, uh, you know, because this is our pilot show, I just want to maybe just kind of preface this up, uh, even the whole idea behind this, you know, the move tube show, but we wanted to do a series if I could live anywhere and then feature just places in the United. So we can help you discover places. A lot of people are remote workers. A lot of people are getting moved around. A lot of people are leaving California, Frank. And they're I looking know. for other yeah. places. Yeah, they're looking for places that are more affordable. And we didn't want to do just, just do general metro areas. We just wanted to kind of break it down to like, hey, I mean, when I was a kid, we moved all over. I lived in Laporte, Texas. I lived in Selkirk, New York. I lived in Claymont, Delaware. I lived all over. And I can tell you things about all those places that might be attractive, right? So, um, but we wanted to just do a show on that to consumers to kind of just discover places that they might not have other heard about. So we were actually, Frank and I were putting this idea together and you know, we were like, you know, let's do a show called If I Could Live Anywhere, because that's what brought me to Florida. I'm from Austin, Texas, and love Austin, hometown. But I'm like, hey, you know, if I could live anywhere, like, why do I want to stay here? Because I, I am, I was a remote worker, still am. And we decided to come to Florida, where we're at now. So we just had this idea. And so we went out back to discuss it further. And like, you know, let's, we could talk about any place in the United States. I don't know why, Frank, uh, came to mind. It's like, yeah, why would you live in? Festus, Missouri. Yeah. Came to my head. <laughs> Festus. And, you know, I'm laughing, and, and I shouldn't be, because I know a lot of people live in Festus, although it's a small town. I think the population is about 12,000. Yep. But, um, you know, it's just a cool name. I like it. Festus. Festus, Missouri. I mean, you look, know, look, I, at their, I, look at their website. It, you got to admit, it's a oh, cool website. It is. A, hey, I'll, that's that's probably better than ours, and I'm I'm... I'm a, I'm in a beach town in the Tampa area. You know, and hey, you know, historical 1887. Yeah. So the funny, so true story, guys. Uh, the funny thing was uh, we were discussing this and I'm like, why would you live in Festus? You know, Frank's from California. I'm from, I'm in Florida. I'm originally from Texas. You know, we're on two opposite ends of the coast of the country and we're like Festus, Missouri. And it just so happened we were at a hotel and it just so happened at, outside and there happened to be a guy standing there and goes, I'll tell you why you had moved to Festus, Missouri. We're like, yeah. Who are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is this guy? And it was just some random guy there on business. It just so happened to live in St. Louis. And he sold us on moving to Festus. Right. Missouri. Yeah. The reasons why. So why, why, why would you move to Festus, Missouri? I mean, what did you, find? you know, I, I did some research, Kevin, and, I, and I'll bring it up. There's, there's a handful of points, but you know what might be cool? If, if we could only have a real estate agent and a mortgage person that was in that area that we could talk to about this to get the real details. I wonder if that's you possible. Know, that would be very cool. So it just so happens <laughs> we know somebody from, we don't, we found out, we found somebody from Festus. So we're just going to invite them in. Let's talk to them. Let's bring them in. Hey, and they need to sell us on, on moving to Festus. They're going to sell yeah. you on moving to Festus. Okay. Right? Sell All me right. on moving to Festus. Let's right. go. Let's for, I'm, I'm, I'm already <laughs> partially sold on the name. I'm partially sold on the name. Uh, if Festus, I mean, I just lo would love to be able to say, I live in Festus, Missouri. Festus? Festus. Festus. Festus, baby. <laughs> Wait, wasn't Festus on Gunsmoke? <laughs> yes. Festus. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I should know that. My mom's addicted to Gunsmoke. <laughs> know that yes all right all so right. who do we have who are our guests here kevin that we have dragged into the studio who can tell us all about festus can sell us on festus missouri well we have tracy palmero from remax tracy. real estate agent obviously and wow. mary Catherine, who is with hancock mortgage okay and now now i understand uh mary Catherine, that you actually live in festus is that true? Is that true of you too, Tracy? Yes, sir. I've been here oh. 26 years. My tap root is very deep. I'm a transplant. Okay. Right so where 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 are you from, Tracy? I'm a Cali girl. So Cali really, girl, what? Yes. All right, Frank. There you go. 
<laughs> okay, so <laughs> at least one Californian has moved to Festus, Missouri that we know about. Well, yes, there are several of us, but um, but we moved here for a lot of different reasons. So it became very apparent to us when our kids were young that we wanted better schools than what were, what were available to us where we were living. And we wanted much lower taxes than where we were living, get much more house and land for our money than where we were living. And, uh, and basically for our family business, being able to ship from the center of the country out enabled us you know, to, to really have a lot of cost savings and be able to grow our business prior to real estate um, very nicely being in the center of the country. Okay. All right. Well, maybe there's your, there's your big fat story. Missouri is yeah. because maybe people out there don't even know. I know. There's just like Missouri, like that's somewhere <laughs> in the middle of the country somewhere. Where is it? Yeah. Where is it? Okay. Where is Missouri? <laughs> well, you know, I've never been to Missouri. I don't think I've ever been to Missouri. I don't think I have either. I, well, I think I've, you know, I've been a lot of places. They'll say it's Missouri. 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 Uh, even better. Festus, <laughs> Missouri. I love it. I so where love is it. Festus, Missouri? Well, do you know where St. Louis, Missouri is? Okay. See? Yeah. No, yeah. We can put a pin in that one. What, 25 miles? About 25 miles south, south. of St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So All one right. of the things that's really nice about being down here, um, and I have a long list of reasons why I love Festus and Honestly, I could move a lot of places. I could live a lot of places, afford to live a lot of places. And I stay in Festus because the taxes are really low. We have a lot of elbow room in between our homes. We have a lot of rural land here. Um, we have beautiful lake communities, um, subdivisions for those of you that are thinking about communities in that way. Um, we have small town America in Festus. And that was sorely lacking as my children were young. And I was looking for the feels that I had when I was growing up. And so we looked in the center of the country. We looked like in Cincinnati and we looked, you know, in, into Indiana and Illinois, Southern Illinois. And realistically, St. Louis just became the pinpoint for us because of the easy access north, south, east and west for the family business that we were doing. Hindsight being 2020, it was an amazing decision because when we moved here, there wasn't a whole lot going on in Festus. Not a whole lot at all. We had a lot of a lot of um, small town, um, old school people and guys and, and such that were running our town that didn't have a whole lot of progressive thought process in maintaining the feels of the town and yet still growing the town. When we moved here, I think we had 8,700 people. So you can see that it's grown quite substantially. Um, our school, what, are you, what are you up to now? Are you around 12,000? Right Where around 12,000. A okay. little over 12,000 now. Yeah. So, um, so for us, it just really spoke to what we wanted for raising our kids. It sounds to me like, and okay, so Kevin, is she selling me on Festus, Missouri? I have yeah. Been. Yeah, I'm warming up to it. I'm warming up to it. I mean, it sounds like um, it's a very, um, how do I say it, a very wholesome kind of place to live. Like you've got small town America mm -hmm. just beaming over there. Mm -hmm. um, I can only imagine like the 4th of July's must be kind of neat. And, uh, it's amazing. Is it? I'm See, I just, I just just figured I'm that amazing. out. Yeah, yes. right. So the real community driven. Oh, yeah parades and yeah. festivals and we shut down main street that runs between festus and crystal city and we have twin city days and i mean we have all these amazing opportunities we just had a beer fest i think a couple of weekends ago you know tomorrow's ladies night yeah tomorrow's what, ladies what night on main street <laughs> you serious what? <laughs> a beer it's fest terrible. and there's ladies night well, yeah, you got to tell so me what does, so, what does that mean what does that mean yeah, so um, so ladies' night is all of Main Street. Um, they are they closing the street. They're closing should, the street. I should know mm -hmm. this. Um, yeah, and there are specials up and down Main Street for all the ladies. Yep, and to come and shop. Yep, and um, they wow. actually are in a man cave 
This, yes. this is the first man cave. There's going to be whiskey tasting, nice. um, sports. Yep. So sports. they set up a big tent for, or there will be tonight, uh, setting up a big tent for the guys to go and do their bourbon taste and, you know, smoke their cigars and whatever. It's like, that's where the guys go. Okay. The girls get to go shopping. I, so it's like okay. I, I, I just went up another couple of rungs on the ladder here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting and sold even better. And so that's pretty cool. I got to ask you this though, like in Missouri, I'm just not Missouri. I'm just not especially Festus, Missouri. I'm just not sure what the weather is like. out. Is it humid or is it, or what is it? What's it like out there? talk about the weather oh, okay <laughs> no. so one of the nice things about missouri's weather is that we are we are a whole lot more mild than say a chicago okay so for me i've always wondered why on earth is st louis not a hub for so many airlines because we literally don't get a whole lot of weather uh experience yeah. here so we do have a cold winter we do have a hot and muggy summer but we don't get a ton of rain. We don't get a ton of snow. In fact, we get we rarely get more than an inch of snow, and then it's gone the next day. Um, okay. So we have we have what I feel is pretty mild weather for living in an area that gets four distinct seasons. And we are in fall. Okay. Right? It's gorgeous mm -hmm. to be driving around right. and see the leaves. Like, what's right. the temperature that out there right now? Where are you guys at so in today November? It's Sixty-eight degrees, sixty-nine degrees, yeah. something like that. Perfect. Like, six right now mm -hmm. yeah i'm getting sold uh you know i'm liking festus the name of course is just ringing all my bells festus missouri okay. i got you know but everything else but it was what it, it used to be called tanglefoot back in the day tangle and oh. they i gotta <laughs> tell you that's a, <laughs> it's a great tanglefoot's day. pretty good I, so back yeah in tanglefoot day, went to festus back in the day when pittsburgh plate glass which basically was um, the, the draw for people to come to this area was Pittsburgh plate glass and, um, PPG had a lot of employees that lived in Festus and a lot of employees that lived in crystal city and the road between the two was overgrown with weeds and, and with this weed called a tangle foot. Okay. And, and people would literally trip on it fall when they would go to the pubs in crystal city after working at PPG. And then they would go to walk home and they would get tangled in these weeds and they called it Tanglefoot. This is the most ridiculous and inane story that I think that I have ever heard in my life. And Fascinating. Friday we are, you guys are a wealth of information about <laughs> Festus, Missouri. Kevin, what do you say you, you, you highlight uh, MoveTube and let's just start looking at some properties and seeing what's really out there. Because I really want to get a sense of the, you guys spoke about, you know, the outdoor living is really you know, accessible for you guys. And so let's start looking at some of these properties on the MoveTube channel on Roku, Amazon, and Apple TV. Okay, uh, yeah. And and just kind of take a look at some of these properties and kind of see, they already look pretty dang cool. I mean, mm -hmm. it's looking pretty nifty. It's so looking you know nice and green. Here. Yeah, I was going to say, can you search by acreage? Or can that be one of your criteria? Uh, yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah, we have acreage. Yeah, we, d we do have that. But I'll just, I'm just going to do a general search for now. Um, you know, <laughs> let's get into the property. So... <laughs> I'm randomly, by the way, we're not, we're not, we're not doing Tracy, like any favor to, I'm just randomly grabbing properties, but Tracy, yeah, well, that's, that's a nice looking house. It yeah, is it a is. nice house and it's a nice neighborhood too. So that's newer construction. Um, we had in the last uh, two years, 352 homes slated to be built in Festus. Okay. So, wow. um, so our schools are growing. The infrastructure is growing. Um, our population, of course, is growing and people literally want to move here. What we experienced in COVID was that people in the highly dense areas like up in Chesterfield or um, St. Charles or St. Peter's, they were looking to Jefferson County and as far south as Festus and further south so that they could have some elbow room so they could get further away from people because we didn't know how long COVID was going to be a part of our everyday vocabulary. And they actually, because they, like you, could work from pretty much anywhere, why not consider moving somewhere where we get a little bit of acreage with our home? I I agree. I, I love the fact you're sitting on that photo there, Kevin, of the front porch. I fantasize about having a home with a really cool front porch 
that I could sit out there with my lemonade, you know what I mean, and watch the neighborhood go by. I, we just, you know, I'm out here in Northern California. You just don't see them. You, know, you right. just don't get those kind, these kind of homes. And I'm also noticing it's like, maybe it just, I, I can't tell, Kevin, maybe you can keep going through, but like this particular oh. home, I don't think there's any real fences going around. Do you guys yeah. have that where the properties well, don't really have fences or? So that is kind of a awesome. thing. <laughs> we yeah. call it porch sitting around here. Porch so sitting. A, pro a property that has a beautiful front porch. I'm like, this is a porch sitting porch. You know, this is lemonade in the summer. You got yeah. going up there. You got wave some rockers. Wave to your neighbors. Everybody stops and chats because it's a really friendly place. Oh, I know that. I know that house. You do? Can you I tell mean, us something you know, about this one? Yep, tell that one. That. And see, it backs to the woods, so no one's going to build behind them. I bet there's right. creepy things in the woods. Isn't oh, that look kind at of that. scary? Look at that. Like, look at that porch. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you got, now you got your back porch back into the. So, yep. so if, if I. So, by the way, I'm on move too. For any of you guys that aren't familiar with this yet, I'm searching these properties on my Roku TV, my, actually, my Roku streaming How stick. Cool is that? That, that is so cool? cool. You know what? I could play. I got jazz music going on. If you can hear that. Yeah. Now I can change that to anything I want. So, let me turn that back down uh so if i if i'm interested in a property here all i have to do is click this thing here it says contact agent now uh this who's that is that oh tracy palmero oh familiar oh. with that agent i heard that agent knows a lot about tangle foot or whatever it's <laughs> tangle it's feet <laughs> festus missouri oh so, yeah all yeah. you have to do is scan that code right there you got a little digital contact card you can reach out yeah. to her that right there or you can scan that as well and and uh send a message and schedule a showing if you want the details on the property there you go it's right here nice your agent. Your agent. well you're a very yeah. fancy agent on tv that's very oh, cool thank you yeah. so much you're welcome yeah Who's congratulations that? thank you mary, oh mary catherine. Mary, there catherine. You go. mary catherine if you and want my for best your lender right here for all your financing needs yeah you yeah. know i gotta hey are there fireflies in there in are. We are there have fireflies we so have you're backing fireflies. up to the forest we have we have praying mantis <laughs> yeah but i can imagine in the evenings you're backing up to the forest you see the fireflies in the forest really yep i find that wildly awesome and horribly <laughs> frightening at the same time <laughs> so, so i have i have texas roadhouse and starbucks dispensary kind of like close to each other what, what is that you get the munchies you got a texas <laughs> roadhouse <laughs> We got all, we got Not that we do that. We don't. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Come on down to Starbucks and then right down the road, Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. I think Satisfy your cravings. That's right. And we have the cutest Main Street. We really do. We really do have a really nice Main Street. So our Main Street has started being, as again, like I said, really progressive in um, putting in new businesses that that literally will bring people to Festus, bring people to shop in Festus. We have a number of specialty eateries on Main Street, like Pine Mountain uh, Mercantile, where right. you literally are walking right into something that you would imagine is like from the old mining days in Colorado or Northern California, where we're from. And, um, and it's super cute, but we've also got Corner Cup Cafe. We've got Main and Mill over on the other end, which is the a brewery. micro brewery. We've got um, Four Brothers Mead, which is um, Mead, a meadery, a meadery. Oh, Mead, yeah. Mead. We have Viking festivals and Viking festivals. Nice. That's right. <laughs> well, that's so we awesome. also have a bunch of like small boutiques as well. Mm -hmm. So when we have our ladies' night um, tomorrow night, we're going to be shopping all of these small shops that are locally owned like backbone home and um and farmhouse boutique queen Anne boutique and queen anne's lace and um we just but all the guys are going to be at the man cave oh, sipping yeah, whiskey smoking cave. cigars so oh, yeah know. whatever yeah you go do your thing yeah the little shops and everything whatever Drop off bags but right. you know i i tell you man this has been a really good inaugural episode i can't believe how cool it's been and i okay kevin so i'm going to give you my verdict would i would i move to festus missouri the answer is yeah, emphatically yes emphatically. i would absolutely move to festus missouri what a neat neat place you sold me on it ladies it, it's an amazing place to live it's beautiful super friendly 
And I would invite anyone that's considering that they can work from anywhere to come on over to Festus. I'll help you find a beautiful home with some acreage. There you go. Tracy Palmero, Mary Catherine, Festus, Missouri, or Tanglefoot. Is it foot? Is it tangle, Tanglefoot, Missouri? Uh, obviously one of the greatest places in the country to live and and yes. what a, what a, what a great great episode i had no idea kevin did you have any idea about any of this i, I mean just not. i mean just amazing you guys have been incredible hosts all right yeah, so let's uh, let's get some uh, call to actions going here so obviously if you want to uh connect with uh tracy or mary Catherine, what's your phone number oh my phone number 314-803-6245. That's my cell. Call me up, text me, um, ask me questions about Festus, Missouri. If, if you hadn't gotten every question answered possible on this show, <laughs> she more. can answer more. Okay. Oh, more. Uh, Mary Catherine, how do we reach you? If they want to get some loans happening, some right. finance in one of them properties out there. Uh, you can go to apply with mcb.com or 314-606. Nine four three six. Okay, there you go. Good stuff. Yeah. You know, if anybody's watching this and they have reasons why they would move to Festus, uh, we'd love to put, hear it. Put it in the comments. We want to see that. We want to see other right. people's opinions of why they love Festus. The internet, all these comments. <laughs> yeah, sure. you're <laughs> So we don't want to break. Thanks for coming on. And uh, you want to search properties in Festus? There's no better way than to go on to move to. Boom, Roku, move tube. On your Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Apple TV, and Google TV, by the way. Yep. Soon coming on Samsung. Yep. Much better way to search property. So A lot of guys. fun. I love this it. This was fun. Then and, I can come uh, straight to your living rooms. That's right. right. On the big screen. <laughs> there you go. Awesome stuff, right, ladies. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Enjoyed Thanks it. so much for having us. All right. We'll see you guys You're here welcome. next time on If I Could Live Anywhere, the MoveTube Show. See you later.